Hey, what's up, guys? Tom back here for another video. Um, it's morning, so we'll go up and some coffee. As usual. And um, I got some VCLT from Mr. John Coltrane68 or uh, Chris Cole. Chris, thank you very much. You, uh, I've talked about Chris before, so. Um, just really cool dude, really. Knows a lot about music, especially um, private pressings and uh, where to find cheap music, um, good cheap music. You know, all that stuff that you would probably skip over the record store. Chris will tell you to, uh, don't skip it over. That record's probably uh, worth checking out. So, um, yeah, sent me lots of great recommendations and um, some really generous VCLT right here, too. So, let's just get into it. So, the first record he sent me was... Ken McIntyre, McIntyre Sextet featuring Terum, Terum, wow, sorry, Terum Masahino introducing the vibrations. It's early, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, introducing the vibrations. This is not Inner City from 1977. I haven't checked this one out yet. A lot of these I haven't checked out yet. I just want to show them real quick for them when I still have some time and the purple Inner City label there. Um, I do like Ken McIntyre, so, and I like Terum Masahino, so I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, for players on here, except for them two, you have anyone I heard of? Richard Harper, Andre Strober, Andy Vega. Um, nothing, no one that, that really stands out in my opinion, but um, I would say check it out if Chris sent it to me. I'm sure it's worth checking out, so I'm sure it'll be great. I have a couple other Ken McIntyre records and I like them, so definitely excited to check this one out. After that, he sent me one that, like I was saying, records that you would probably pass over in a record store. This is probably one that I would pass over without giving it a second thought, you know. Uh, Harvey Mason, Marching in the Street. This is from 1975 on Arista. A lot of different players on here. Aside from Harvey Mason, you have Dave Grusin, Chuck Rainey, Lee Ridnor, Ernie Watts, Oscar Brescher, Bobby Bryant, uh, Blue Mitchell, and a bunch of other people too. So, Randy Crawford. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect with this. Chris said it was great. I did sample it a little bit online, and um, sounded pretty cool. Really, uh, really funky, if I remember correctly. So. I think so you check this one out. Look at that artwork just incredibly cheesy in my opinion, but I'm sure it'll be great. Uh, moving on to I'm oh, sorry, I was gonna put some music on, but I forgot I'm gonna do it right now. So if you can hear this music, and it's pretty quiet right now, this is what I just put on. Colin Wolcott, uh, Grazing Dreams on ECM. This record I've had my eye on for a while. <coughs> Just never got around to picking it up, and I'm glad I glad I held off because uh, Chris was kind enough to send it to me. So this one actually includes uh, John Abercrombie, Don Cherry, as well as Pele Danielson on bass. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. And Don um, Romeo, Romeo. I've seen that name before too. Just to try to butchered it, but like I said, on ECM. Love Don Cherry. Colin Wolcott's great. I've had him on via Cadona Records that I have, and he's awesome on that, so I'm sure I'm going to love this. Um, from 1977, not sure if I mentioned that you could probably get a sense of what this sounds like if you know what Cadona Records sounds like, or, you know, that style of music. So, um, Colin Wolcott plays a sitar and a tabla, so I just want to get a sense of uh, Don Cherry plays trumpet, wood flute, and... Uh, Deuce and Goonie? Wow, I have no idea what that is, but it sounds interesting. Uh, moving on. One record I know nothing about. Charlie Rouse Band, Cinnamon Flower. I do know who Charlie Rouse is, um, but that's about it. This is on Douglas. Oh, sorry, I thought it was a gatefold, not a gatefold. This is on Douglas. Nope, it's on Casablanca. 
But I believe, uh, yeah, it's still, yeah, sub label. Because it says Douglas on the back. So, another big lineup on this one as well uh, Clifford Adams, Wilbur Boscom, Ron Carter, George Davis, Albert Daly, Bernard Purdy. Um, yeah. I'm sure this will be great as well. I believe this is from uh, late 70s, 77. Cinnamon Flower, Charlie Rouse Band. So, not sure what to even expect with that one. Like I said, most of these I haven't checked out yet, so can't really speak too much about them, but I just wanted to show them. Uh, this one I have checked out, and I, I loved it. This is a Horace Silver uh, Quintet sex slash Sextet. Maybe it's too loud now. The name of the album is All, or the United States of Mind slash Phase 3. So there's a couple uh, different ones of these uh Horror Silver, United States of Mind. Um, I think this is the last one, I believe. If you want to grab the other two. But this was just amazing. Really, really great jazz on the Blue Note label there. Not really what I was expecting from Horror Silver. Definitely a bit different than his um, other stuff around this time, because I believe this came out in the early 70s, I think. 1970, I guess so. But this is really more uh, kind of conscious jazz. Maybe uh, some spiritual jazz in there, just um, really, really great stuff from Horace Silver. And um, it says it has vocals on the uh, Discogs page, it says, with unknown artists featuring unknown artists. I believe the unknown artist is Andy Bay, who does vocals on this, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, great lineup on here. You got Cecil Bridgewater, Harold Vick, um, Bob Cranshaw. It's great. Great stuff. Um, definitely worth checking out. Not for everyone, if you're not really into uh, vocal jazz, because like I said, it doesn't have Andy Bay and a bunch of other, uh, not a bunch, but a couple other singers doing uh, vocals on here. But the vocals are definitely more um, kind of like conscious in mind, I guess it was during that time. So, um, great album though. Definitely recommend it. Chick Corea album, which I'm not familiar with at all. Uh, Sundance. And you see the players on the front here. Uh, Hubert Laws, Jack DeJanette, Dave Holland, Woody Shaw, Horace Arnold. So, great players, you know. Um, I'm sure it'll be great. I, I like Chick Corea for the most part. A lot of his stuff I enjoy. This is on uh, Groove Merchant. I don't have a lot of stuff on. I believe I maybe have one other record on Groove Merchant, but... Um, yeah, I'm sure I like this. I like Chick Corea, like I said. And from the players on here, it'll be great. Um, Zach DeJanet, always great. Dave Holland is awesome. Bass Love is a... Uh, Dave Holland Quartet. What is it? Birds of... Something. That Birds record, which is great. Uh, Woody Shaw is always good on the trumpet. And Horace Arnold on drums. I still definitely want to get his tribe joint, so... Um, Chick Corea is not for everyone, but I know, but I dig it, so. Uh, this is a record I am familiar with, but um, don't remember what it sounds like at all. Michael Mantler movies. Michael Mantler, I know, had a big part in uh, putting together the Jazz Composers Orchestra, and definitely has some players from that on here, um, mainly Carla Play, who had a part in this album as well. Larry Coriel's on here, Steve Swallow, Tony Williams, or Anthony Williams. Um, this one came out in, I want to say the late 70s as well, 78, and it's on Watt Records, I think it's Watt, W-A-T-T, -T, which I believe, don't call me on this, but I believe it's, uh, Michael Mantler's own label, yeah, Michael Mantler did all the compositions produced by Carla Blake, so, but great players on here. I think so you check this one out. Um, definitely my style of jazz, so let's hope it'll be good. Has kind of the same shiny uh, cover surface as the uh, one of the early jazz composer orchestra records. I think it's the second one. It's a self-titled one. Another one of these that I did check out was uh, John Luke Ponti. I believe his record name of this one is John Luke Ponti meets Giorgio Gaslini. 
uh, but it also features um, Steve Lacey, Harry Beckett, Tony Oxley, uh, Gianni Bedori, Bruno Tommaso, and Paul Rutherford. So some great players on here. Um, as you may or may not know, John Ponti is a violinist. So, um, you know, violin jazz, once again, isn't for everyone, but this was just awesome. I like John Luke Ponte for the most part. He does have a lot of records out. Some of them kind of uh, aren't my thing, but this one just ended up being really, really great, especially with these players. Steve Lacey and Harry Beckett um, both killed it. Uh, Tony Oxley was really good on here as well. It's funny, is it just a sticker on here with the, um, with the names, but I believe it looks like underneath it has the same information, so I don't know what's going on there, but... Um, really cool record. Probably one that you can find for pretty cheap, but uh, definitely worth at least checking it out. Very nice kind of out there, um, like free jazz, uh, a little bit of even cosmic jazz, I would say, thrown in there. Um, yeah, John Luponti does some great work with the uh, on the violin, so. Like I said, Harry Beckett's always great, too. So. And of course, Steve Lacey. Love Steve Lacey. And the last one here, which I um, love, definitely maybe my favorite record out of all these that Chris sent me. I definitely listened to this one. This is the first one I listened to. Bobby Hutcherson, Head On. Um, great, great stuff. I didn't have Bobby Hutcherson's any of his um, stuff with him as a leader, so so excited to pick this one up from, not pick, pick it up, get this from Chris, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, this is uh, amazing. On Blue Note, Adi Hutchinson plays Vibes, if for some reason you're not familiar with him. Um, just an awesome Vibes player. And um, on here you have Harold Land, um, who I just picked up another record from as well. Fred Jackson, Oscar Brashear, Todd Cochran, who's an amazing piano player, in my opinion. Um, doesn't have a lot of workout, but what he does have is just great. James Leary, Reginald Williamson, and William Henderson, or Bill Henderson on piano. So all great players. Um, I know this, this uh, cover is pretty well known. Bobby uh, Hutcherson in that hat, he uh, likes to wear that hat and he definitely, he's definitely rocking it. So, uh, But yeah, just great kind of post bop, avant garde jazz type stuff. Um, definitely highly recommend this one if you're going to check out any of these. Highly recommend checking this one out. And maybe um, Steve Lacey as well, too, that could see a lot of people being into that one that uh, maybe otherwise wouldn't know about it. So, Bobby Hutcherson, head on, definitely recommend it. Um, thank you very much, Chris. Great, great stuff. I still have a lot of listening to do um, to get through all these, but very, uh, very generous once again. And I love um, whenever we talk, um, Chris always kind of sends me, uh, I know he does it with a lot of other people too, it's like recommendations and maybe just like leads to auctions that might be going on, so. He's definitely um, one of the masters of doing that in our uh, little Facebook group that we have going on there. So, so that's it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. I will be back um, probably in a couple weeks with a update because I have picked up some pretty nice stuff um, here to show. So that's it. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you, Chris. Hope you're doing well, too. Um, it's damn cold outside. I woke up this morning, and it's uh, negative 12. I think so. That's why I'm kind of this hoodie and thermal on. But if you're in the Northeast, definitely be careful if you go out. It is freezing. All right, guys. Have a good day. Peace.